All right, so I got an exciting video for you guys today. Um, since I finally got the activation code for the E6 Connect uh, for the SC4 device, I got it activated on the iPad. Uh, I figured I'd, I'd show you a quick video of kind of what the simulation play looks like. Um, so we're just going to go in and, and play just a few holes, probably a few par threes, um, and just see how that compares. Now, just to compare the data, I do have my GC2 device down here connected to my computer and then I will be doing like a screen record it will be displaying like the GS Pro driving range just so that we can kind of look at the ball flight and data that it's capturing on the shot and kind of compare it to what we're seeing in the video um, here in E6 Connect so real quick we'll just get through these menus stroke play do band and dunes and then just go in here and I will select the first three par threes here. Delete those holes. So it looks like we're gonna play number two, number six, and number 12. And then because the, the SC4 device doesn't pick up side spin, and I do typically hit more of a kind of a push draw with most of my iron shots and stuff, I will probably aim just a little bit left of my actual target line since it's gonna kind of go a little bit right on me because of that. Um, so yeah, so let's see, first shot out the gate here, 220 yards to um, an elevated pin. It's 26, almost 27 feet elevated um, with a, just a very minimal breeze behind me. So I'm going to try to hit a foreign there. I just don't usually hit foreign all that often. I don't even usually carry it in my bag. Uh, my irons usually only go up to to five typically. All right, that was pretty pretty solid strike. Um, like I said, it kind of felt more like a push draw, which it's not going to draw on this. Um, the SC4 had it actually with a carry of a little over 200 yards, um, but as you can see, the E6 read it as more of a carry of 192 and a half. So I've got a little work left here to do. All right, so we've got about 31 yards. Um, probably just do a little bit of a quarter of a swing with my 60 degree and see if we can get it in there close. Wow, that, that definitely felt like it flew a lot further than it was supposed to. Uh, I'd be curious to see that one on GS Pro to kind of see where it went. All right, so I'll back it up so that we actually can see the ball in the screen there. 22 feet. I'm just going to try to just kind of just get this on the green and just start it here. See if it reads that small little bit of a chip. All right, now it looks like we're kind of having short shipping issues, kind of like the Garmin R10. Um, so let me see if I can try to get this one to, to register here. Mm, nope, still nothing. All right, let's open this thing up. That'll probably register and be way too far. <laughs> 10 yards. Or it comes off and looks like I putted that for some reason. Um, that's really weird. Yeah, I think after this video, I'll probably try to put a, a video together for y'all um, of just kind of doing some short shipping just to kind of test out like what is the, the minimum that, that it will pick up. Um, so yeah, we'll... 18 feet, two putt. So we'll start after the first hole. We're two over. We've got a second hole here, um, number six, 195 yards, uh, just slightly uphill, not too bad. We've got a pretty good wind blowing though from behind us, a little left to right. So I'm probably going to try to hit a six iron there. Uh, pin is located kind of front of the green. All right, because of the wind, it has died down. And because of my typical shot shape, 
going to aim a little bit left. Flag there. Uh, that was a little bit thin and maybe actually starting left. Looks like the wind's blowing it back. Okay. Not great, but not terrible. I mean, kind of just safe. Put it in the middle of the green. It looks like we got about 23 feet left. Um, I'll probably select two putt on that as well. All right, so part that one. Um, so after two holes, two over with the last par three in this demo coming up. Um, 218, aimed a little bit left. Wind is kind of bouncing up and down, but it's straight into our face. So I'm gonna try to get this five iron there. The wind gusts up, I know I won't get it there. So. Pretty good strike, uh, kind of felt like a push draw, like my normal shot. Uh, I know on here it's not gonna come back. So. Yeah, I'm guessing the wind and the elements, cause because SC, the SC4 device display had it at 204.7 yards carry. Um, which if I'm hitting this well, honestly, I think I'd get it out there 215, 220. But uh, left ourselves 36 yards left. Um, so another 60 degree wedge shot. Let's see if we can get this close and maybe actually have a one, just a one putt. Kind of save par here. Right, right. All right, kind of left it outside of that 10 foot zone. Uh, if it was inside of 10 feet, I would have gave myself a one putt, but uh, just outside of 10 feet, we'll just do the standard kind of two putt here. All right, and so with that, we went uh, double bogey, par, bogey. So finished those three holes, three over. Um, honestly, just having to adjust for kind of no side spin or shot shape um, I feel like the device overall still performed pretty decently well uh, in this I'll be interested to see like whenever I go to put the video together and we've got the the shot comparison data from from GS Pro uh, in, the, in the GC2 on the range like how close and accurate the numbers were um, so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the this video if you did please give it a like um, plan on doing a lot more stuff like this so if you haven't subscribed already please do so to help the channel out and then uh yeah i'll have another video up for you guys shortly y'all take care have a good day